It's one of the most troubling countries in the world. Since the uprising that led to the death of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, Libya's security situation has gone from bad to worse. Rival militia exercise more power than the government, while kidnappings are a form of political negotiation. Yet, some officials are optimistic Libya will stabilize. At the African Union headquarters, Libya's Foreign Minister Mohamed Abdul Aziz is a very popular man. Partly because of the easy access to him, unlike most ministers, partly because he is willing to talk. And he's seeking support to stabilize Libya. And we do expect that the African Union will respond to the actual priorities of Libya at the moment when it comes to the security. Aziz says Libya is undergoing a political process connected to structural and legislative reform. We had the election of the National Congress successfully done, a legitimate government in place. We are now preparing for the election of the 60 members for the drafting of the constitution. Once the constitution, hopefully within three months to six months, will be in place, then we start the parliamentary and presidential elections. But Libya is not alone in its troubles. There is also a crisis in the Central African Republic and South Sudan. While the Democratic Republic of Congo and Mali remain constant concerns. Don't, don't then. The African Union says it wants a conflict-free Africa by 2020. AU Commission Chairperson Dlamini Zuma says African countries must take into account several factors. It's important that our democracy becomes participatory, inclusive. So, and of course, economically, we have to build economies that will be able to sustain the development in our countries. And I think if you can deal with that and in invest in our people, especially the youth, they must have skills so that they can create employment, they can be employed, and they can drive the development of Africa. Dlamini Zuma says unless these concerns are addressed, the stable countries today will be conflict zones tomorrow. Robert Magela, CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.